sometimes I get emails from you uh, telling me that your challenge is maybe with weight or confidence. I also sometimes struggle with my weight and I'd like to bring on the fabulous Tom Fabry um, because he has been helping me, especially with his new book called Ageless You. So hopefully you'll be benefiting just like I've been able to benefit. Welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. You look fabulous. I you feel really fabulous. Yeah. I yeah. really do. I, I took you up on your six week challenge mm -hmm. um, to kind of get myself back together and I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. You know, it typically takes a person about six weeks if they want to change their life. And I'm honored that you wanted to change your life. You're living it up, right? And, you know, you look awesome. Thank and everybody you. notices, too. Uh, thank you. Well, Brian Cohen uh, basically came to me, and he's our nonprofit correspondent. And he says, I don't really know how to approach you with this. But, you know, <laughs> you're, you're supposed to be like, you know, the live it up girl. And I know you're firing on all cylinders. However, you know, you're looking maybe a little run down, a little heavy, a little shabby lately, Drake. I mean, but he was saying Goodness. that to me as a friend. I mean, yeah. he, and he meant it. And, and what happens is, is I do. I get so busy living life that I don't take care of myself. Absolutely. And you've helped me put myself back first so that I can go out there and help other people. Absolutely, so absolutely. thank you for that. You're welcome. Because well, I was neglecting myself. I wasn't eating properly. I wasn't exercising, you know. Well, we talked about it, right? Most, most women, okay, they give, they give, they give, but they don't refill the well, right? And so my philosophy is well, you need to take care of this first then you can take care of everybody else you know how can you how can you take care of your kids or live it up or build a business or have a great relationship if you can't get out of bed in the morning so you have to take care of this and that's really what my book is about and and you started it which was a big <laughs> deal right i mean it, it wasn't was easy it wasn't easy but and i'm not sure i haven't figured that out yet why people are maybe afraid to start. It, there, there could be several reasons where they're, they're afraid of what other people might say, you know, or they're afraid of giving up some pleasures, you know, but. But I'm enjoying the food that I'm eating. Things taste better to me. Oh, it's you fabulous. know, I've never had a problem with drinking or smoking. I, I've never had any of those challenges. So my palate's always enjoyed food, sure. but it's, opening up myself to new things again. You know, I forgot to eat, I forget to eat vegetables. I for yeah. The simple things that you're taught as a child, you just kind of throw out the window when you're like running through the drive through because you gotta be somewhere by six, you know, and you're just rush, 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 rush. Right. So, right. and I think um, what I've noticed about you and your philosophy in life is that take a breath, right? Absolutely. Breathe it out a little. Absolutely. Um, and it's just common sense. That's what your book to me represents is common sense. Yeah, I, it's, it's a five step, look at look at your life but develop new habits to develop a new philosophy of life okay we should really take time for ourselves and not what society wants us to do okay take a look at what you're doing okay and that's really what it's about I mean I do talk about nutrition and fitness but I also talk about mind body soul and my last chapter is on adventure and fun I mean, that's what you're, this, this is right. what it's about, <laughs> it's living it, it up, absolutely. right? But how can you live it up if you're sick, if you're sick and tired? So, but it's, it's a simple book, simple process. Ageless and, you, and you've been through challenges in your life, but you have gone on to become a commercial pilot. You're an adventurer. You've climbed five of the seven summits so far. You're going to be climbing the last two. I mean, you're just awesome. So do you share a little bit about your own personal journey, either on your website or your book? Or oh, well, yeah, I, okay, I, I open up and talk about um, all my failures, you know. But, you know, part of my philosophy is if you're not failing at least once a week, you're not living big, hmm. you know. But I learned the process, you know, um, as, a, as a young man and teenager, uh, getting into trouble, in and out of jail. I mean, just a lot of bad things. But along the way, I found some mentors that took me under their wing and they said, you know what, you can do this, you can do that. And as I followed those philosophies, you know, I did. I became a captain for a major airline, corporate helicopter pilot, culinary graduate, climbing the seven summits, writing a book, and you're like, God, you can do whatever you want to do if you, you know, follow certain steps, but have developed the mindset for it. And I did, and it's just, and it's just getting better and better and better. And here I am, 
mentoring a TV show host, you know, and she's looking fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, I feel fabulous. And it's all about helping you feel fabulous too. I really do want you to help uh, celebrate your essence of life. That's why I started the show. I so appreciate your cards, your letters of support for what I'm trying to do, and I'm here for you as well. So if you want to take my advice and check out uh, Tom's book, you can. It's Ageless You. We always try to provide you with wonderful resources. Stay tuned for more on Live It Up. <laughs>